Hello and welcome to this new video in the Excel playlist. In this video we will learn several date and time related functions. I'm calling this example as date and time components because we are going to see how to extract individual components from date and time. Let's get started. So the very first thing that I want to do is have few dates to get started with. Now keep in mind all those things what we have learned in the last couple of videos related to date. I want to generate some random dates. How can I do so? So although I can type but I just want to do this by using rand between. Until now we have used rand between to generate numbers randomly between any two numbers. But we can also use it for date and time. So this is how you can do. Just keep the logic same. Bottom date should be smaller than the top. And how do we go about entering the date is by using the date function. So for example I say 2010 comma 1 comma 1 this is the start date close the bracket this will be your bottom date comma for the top date again use the date function any date you can also type today over here so it will bring until current date that's fine so I'll say 2022 12 31 enter so just so closing of bracket was missing and I can just format it to short date and just I'll drag it down so I'll have some random dates in here I would want to freeze them so I'll copy alt ESV paste special to get rid of the formulas so it will not change now this is the first thing that we want to do I want to extract the year month and day separately and that's why I call these as three components of date now remember be very specific when you say day or date don't use them interchangeably so a complete date is nothing but this what you see it is nothing but year, month and day. All three components or parts included. When I say day, it is just the day portion. So as you can see, the system time, uh, the format for my system is MDY. So today's day is 21. The month is 11 and the year is 2022. So don't use both things interchangeably. Both things are different. Now, how can I extract the year, month and day part separately? You might be thinking that, okay, we have learned few functions like left, right, mid. Never ever use those functions on a date. Why? Because those are not the right way to derive or extract year, month and day. Instead, Excel has given us very straightforward functions. So as the name suggests, those are the functions for us. You just say year and pass the serial number. Remember, serial number is nothing but a date and I have explained you every date is nothing but a serial number and we have seen that the counting has began from Jan 1st 1900 that's it if I just do this this will return me an integer I'll just drag it down that's it how can I get the month now the month will also return me a serial number from Jan to December so this will give me 1 to 12 not the month name for month name will come to it in a different way so just this this will give me a number between 1 and 12 fine and finally the day day will be the day between 1 to 31 so this is how you will extract them you will never ever use left right mid or any other function if it's a valid date definitely it is you can see as we have generated it through the ran between but we use the date function and also you can see by the alignment and that's why these all functions are working correctly and you can see for yourself from this date we have extracted 2010 December and 4th and likewise others now how about if I had to get these dates back together now here do not concatenate them by using concatenate function or by using and simply you bring them together by using date just pass year month comma day enter and leave it the rest to the Excel to inherit the format from Windows. So there you go. This is how you extract the date uh, in individual component and this is how you create them. Next thing. How can you get the month name like January, February or Jan, Feb in that case. So for this there is a function called as text. Although this is not specific to formatting or bringing the month name this is a text function which can convert anything to a specific format but I'm in this example going to show you only about month so there are two things value and format text 
so I want to format this to only a month so this is how I will do comma for example if I say double M to start with I will get the text in two digits but this is remember a text as you can see the alignment <coughs> this is a number and this is a text so notice the difference between both you can get both the results but both are of different data types the month function will return integer and the text will always return a text so if you try to do plus one over here obviously it will do but the pure output for this will be a text next thing our main aim was to format this so if I say triple M that's where you will get the month names in this way and if you want the complete month name you will say text select this and type in four times M enter and there you go you will get the full names obviously you can use any formats like ddmmyy or mdy anything for the text function which we will come to it later on now let us scroll down and then have some times although this might not be very much required as compared to date but I can enter the time over here so for example we can have any time in this way and you can just drag it so from this what I want is hour minute and seconds so the name itself is the function in order to get the hour again no left right or mid function just say hour for minute you have minute for seconds you have again second that's it we select all of this double click or scroll down drag down you will have it and you can change in these times as well and how about bringing it back again no concat in it just like date we have a function called time to bring in hour minute second combinedly so hour minute second enter and drag down and then what you can do is from here you can change the format but for us rather than time we would be very often be using these functions like year month day and text so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned